AI is changing the landscape of cybersecurity and what are some of the trends at RSA 2025 that totally people should not miss? I think definitely people should keep an eye for companies which have solutions around AI governance. There are features out there. We all know that AI is there to make life easy. Uh, tell us what is Data Bill of Materials and how does Arden Privacy uh, provide for it when people hire you? What Data Bill of Material is? Uh, basically, Bill of Materials for all organizational data you have. So what you are doing if you are doing a new software project or you have a whole legacy IT infrastructure right what is there for me to protect hello and welcome to a very special episode of what's up at RSA 2025 and uh, I'm here today uh, with very two esteemed cyber security experts to my right is Samir Ahi Rao, founder and CEO of Ardent Privacy. He's got over 25 years of experience as a practitioner with brand labels like Deloitte, Lockheed Martin, Symantec. And uh, to Samir's right, we have a CISO for public uh, firm and uh, name is Nick Salian. And he has worked with the top labels like Vipro. Uh, he is extremely seasoned in uh, AI regulatory and pretty much the entire cybersecurity suite as it is. He knows how it has evolved and is here to share his insights. So welcome both of you. How are you doing today, Samir? Hey, thank you. Uh, that. Thanks for having us. And there is no place like RSA, right? So I call it like a pilgrimage. Right. In uh, India, we call it Kumbha Mela. Right. So pilgrimage of security. I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for having us, Nick. Uh, thanks for joining us too. Uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Wonderful. So, uh, Samir, uh, AI is changing the landscape of cybersecurity and you spent the last two days here at RSA. Tell us, what are some of the top stories you are uh, hearing about in terms of cybersecurity? And where do you think these trends are headed? Yeah, I think uh, AI is just another revolution, right? So we had uh, the whole uh, mobile device management. We had a cloud revolution. And I think this is all about AI. And I'm not surprised that it's all over the place, right? If you walk the floor, uh, every solution is kind of AI enabled. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, I think we need to learn from the past, right? How security is changing and how we can adopt it to the fast way. So there are, of course, two things, security for AI and AI for security. And I think we can dive that into a little bit more as we go along. But uh, I think if we learn from the past, I think we can do the AI security much better. There is a lot of chatter about, uh, I think, recent AI company being bought by, I think, major player Palo Alto bought uh, and there was an announcement around that but yeah we'll let's get into it wonderful and uh, nick how are you feeling today what are some of the trends at rsa 2025 that totally people should not miss i think definitely people should keep an eye for companies which have solutions around ai governance there are features out there we all know that ai is there to make life easy I no more use Google to do my searches. I use two other different tools uh, to do my searches for AI. And even at home, right, uh, the kids have started using, you know, if there's a math problem, they try to solve it. But if we don't know much about it, like what is ChatGPT saying? All right. So wonderful. So are we AI for security and security for AI? That is the trend pretty much here. So Samir, tell us uh, about your uh, experience with data pipelines and managing them. How it is uh, leading to uh, threats and uh, where are the gaps? What is your take on data pipeline management today? Yeah. So I did an interview a couple of years ago, uh, right? Uh, overall about the, the whole uh, AI, right? And I think you should check that out as well. And I also tell audience how the way these foundational models, right? That time ChatGPT was working, it may be a little bit dated, but the fundamental still kind of uh, remains same. So I will talk from the enterprise where, right? So uh, of course, um, what we are doing at Ardent Privacy, right? We are a data bill of material. So what we call is, how can you protect something if you don't know what you have. So, and that's the concept data bill of material and would love to actually give more idea about that and how it's important to the even uh, AI stack. So, number one, eventually on the right side, right? And I think uh, we'd love to get the, our uh, value proposition graphic in the AI segment there that if you imagine your enterprise data stack, right? Your structured, unstructured, semi-structured or whatever data you have on the left, right? And on the right, you have all these AI applications, right? Foundational ones, right? Chat GPT, then Copilot or Anthropic, all and up. And then you have your in-house, yeah. So 
no matter right i come from a security say for example if i am a a, a ciso right or if i am a compliance officer and a risk officer or anything so right side it the innovation is coming so fast right and we saw this with cloud adoption as well you can't just stop it right there are so many cost savings there's so much productivity improvement yeah. and all that so if i am basically trying to secure copilot i'm trying to secure chat gpt and all that i think they are pretty black box model right? i don't think we have much and in enterprise we are basically the consumer of that segment but they are all this data hungry application so eventually what they going to do is they going to use your data use your data means whether train or not train that's a whole different conversation but to give you better results they are all basically data hungry application and where the threat comes from is personal data right the human harm comes from your my personal data or enterprise data so if we can control the bleed on the left that what data is going to ai applications and have a transparency visibility and then define our ai security strategy that would be wonderful i think i can explain better with the 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 graphic but what i'm saying is if we run data bill of material the supply chain what data is moving to ai yeah. i think we can control the problem today as is well now other things will come and i think nick can also talk about he talks to a lot of ai security vendors that how to secure your own models and that but i think what is your step number one prioritization is key i just said that couple of days or rather actually a week ago in my linkedin post right overall was prioritization is the key in security because if you try to secure everything you are securing nothing right and yeah uh, yeah So yeah, Nick, you're a practitioner, see. So you obviously interacted with so many uh, practitioners in this space. What do you think about the data pipeline gaps and uh, what needs to change for the data bill of materials kind of concept? I have been very fortunate to talk like to investors, VPs, LPs, and even buyers. I've been a buyer for so, and uh, with any new technology that comes in, right? What I'm seeing is that everybody just rushes into it and say, "Oh, AI, AI," right? But what will happen that Uh, there will be a water dump. So in the next six to one year, you'll have many vendors who come into the trying to fix few features uh, to make best use of the LLM. So if you want an LLM to create a nice video, you need an LLM to create an image. You need an LLM to create the marketing videos, etc. Right. So the whole goal should be to talk about like what kind of sanitized data are you really sending to the AI or LLM, and that's where you see the actual. benefit i'll give you a quick example so a law firm reached out to me and they said can you help us because we feel that you're you're behind yeah. the other law firms in terms of automation on the gap and i was like do you know something called as being ai ready ai data ready he said, what is that now you just dump everything to llm it's going to give you garbage garbage in garbage out yeah it's the same logic concept when you do software development right yeah. so what i try to tell them is let's think about the use cases what is the use case You want to bring efficiency ten percent, twenty percent, fifty percent? They're like, we don't know, right? What does it mean? Are you going to knock off some people from jobs? I said, no, 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 no. We are just hundred people law firm. Need you to come in, look at the processes, and see how we can make it more efficient. A very interesting use case I'm working on, right? Wonderful. So, Samira, you mentioned data bill of materials multiple times. Uh, tell us what is data bill of materials and how does Arden Privacy uh, provide for it? uh when uh, people hire you yeah so uh, data bill of materials uh, close to my heart right so you must have heard of isbom right there is a whole nist guideline right soccer bill of materials so it's about software supply chain so what it isbom right is talks about is your today the way you build software it's a lot of open source libraries right libraries you basically bring from and if one of that is vulnerable right we saw so many hacks in last 10 years or so they actually came from that so absolutely securing that and making sure the software you build right what's your supply chain and securing that is absolutely important but what we feel right that's one part of the story even more important is today if you see somebody is hacking your organization or to get after what right they don't they're not interested in hacking your application just to hack application eventually it's all about data they are after the because branches. even if you see what is counted right how data breach impact is counted is number of records being compromised yeah right or also what data bill of material is uh, basically bill of materials for all organizational data you have yeah. and again my fundamental principle if you just google data bill of materials i have explained that in one of the iipp blogs uh, very well and also our website ardenprivacy.ai if you just uh, do so what you are doing if you are doing a new software project or you have a whole legacy it infrastructure right what is there for me 
to protect and same methodology right even for your cyber security today we are chasing three things in cyber and i say this all time and i can't say enough times is we are going after malware right malware malware vulgar number two is network security right so we are securing the entry points where you are getting in the zero trust and all that absolutely good necessary but we have solved that problem malware also or and third we talk about lot of scanning and investigative approaches right but data is no more in question yeah right overall if you don't know what data we have so get your inventories correct get your basically data bill of materials and that's what uh, we do and that absolutely becomes even more important because eventually ai is about training data right yeah. or also i think the other interesting statistics by actually tell security had a survey long back or 82 to 92% net, right overall of corporate budget and correct me if i'm wrong from your experience is put in everything but securing actual data here yeah. so what that means is your net worth your malware right? yeah it's 25 years or so and if we if you see these buses everything right we're still talking about malware so i'm not saying that's not important but why your critical data needs to be in endpoints yeah right or so let's focus on that foundational stuff and i think the debunk i can't stress enough that for ai it's uh, absolutely important i just want to quickly add i think the focus is more on you know data and ai uh, so the more we focus on securing the data the more we will be better in developing new tools and technologies right now the focus is on reducing a lot of noise initially it was not even about reducing noise yeah. it was about putting like an antivirus right then we make them better in that then we had some problems where we got the airports down right and now we are talking about ai we're going to repeat the same mistakes we're going to build agents and agents and agents we don't do anything but in the end you're going to lose the data and that's where the problems happens right here it's open news i can talk about it like the irs has been hacked two times oh my god what are we doing about it yeah okay so there are industry practitioners there are people like samir's company adan which are solving problems i think we need to have more people who really have in the industry an ecosystem built who are thought leaders to bring them together to solve problems but not to just create products and products of the products increase valuation is great to make money excellent right but when you have people like me who have done almost 3 4 CISO roles by now believe me when i say this in the last 10 years i've seen very few company which has which will solve problems every other CISO friend of mine will agree there's one thing i'll tell you in relation to what uh, this topic is i did a table top recently in new york and in the in my room i was running the i was doing the moderation i had 25 CISOs bank issues and i asked them do you know your inventory of all the assets do you know what are those assets doing today what's happening when there is an incident we all don't know if that x i will not name the company x endpoint solution is sitting there and it's alive right so that's the point here that you cannot just have detection systems all the time yeah you need we are moving into the world of ai we have starlings we are talking about believe me when i say this the space force in the government yeah is really marketing people to buy land on moon exactly we are talking about big things and we're still dealing with like now oh, basic foundation no basic foundation so i'm a little bit scared that uh, uh, we are going to infight as as a world yeah well all of a sudden we'll have aliens attack okay on that note with all this you and cry about ai and agents and uh, how ai is impacting cyber security a very thoughtful note to end on focus on the fundamentals focus on your data it is the foundation of security and a no better people to talk about this in sanir and nick here thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it and we'll see you next time at rsa 2026 thank you thank you with the thank for i guess bye bye